Hello and welcome back to the channel. Post pandemic, so many people have started ordering food and other necessary items online. And today it has become the biggest trend and the market leader. So many businesses owners are launching their own food delivery business online with mobile applications or websites. And we are here to help you with the same. So in this video, you will see the features and functions of a very smart admin panel for your food delivery platforms. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. Admin panel for food delivery. And as you can see on the dashboard, uh, here we have all of the details about your plan and when can you upgrade your plan and how many tasks are left in your plan. On the right hand side, you have the details for the heat map where you can see from which area maximum of the orders are being received and you can toggle between the map and satellite views accordingly. So we have different filters through which you can see the heat maps. And on the left hand side, we have all the details, how many new users were onboarded, what was uh, the total restaurant count, total orders and so on. So this would show you the percentage increase in a particular day or a particular month and you can set it accordingly. At the bottom in the pie chart, we have the merchant types by which you can bifurcate which merchant has sold how many items and for how much revenue. On the right hand side, we have the details for order number, the type, the distance which was traveled for the order, the payment type and the status and the price. Now if I scroll to the bottom, we have the cash revenue, online revenue and monthwise revenue accordingly. On the second tab, we have the users. Here you can see the details of all the users who are onboarded and who have ordered. And here you can see what would be their total spend, how many number of tasks they have achieved and their mobile device number and the accepted ongoing cancelled and completed bookings at that moment. So you can edit any of the new user by clicking on edit and you can download and export or import your users and you can toggle between different views. So here would be our order section. In order section, you'll be able to see all pending, accepted, ongoing, canceled and complete. All sort of orders will be reflected under the orders tab. So all the new orders will be highlighted as gray. The completed ones or in progress one will be highlighted as green and the pending ones and all other status updates will be highlighted blue and the cancel one will be highlighted as red. So these are managed according to the status updates and while clicking on the customer details, you will be able to see all the basic details about their booking. So in this customer, uh, they have how what items they have ordered, what sort of delivery notes they have put up on, what was the tip fare, total build amount and their rating. So under the manage payments, you will be able to see the total commission, what was the commission type and for which merchant that was there. So you can view or you can edit or you can pay your merchants in terms of commissions and everything directly through your admin dashboard only once the payment gateway is integrated. So once we go to the coupons, we have the functionality to add the coupon and in that you can add their coupon title, coupon code, what would be the discount type, would it be flat or a percentage, the discount value, what would be the per day limit and we have so many other fields. And from here you can select the merchant, you can select their type and you can select again their products on which particular product you want to apply that coupon. Under the deal section, I'll show you, you can edit it, you can mark their status as blocked or active from here and once I click on edit you can see that what is the deal name, what is the discount type, the discount value, the description, start date and end date and uh, what the merchant, what would be their products on which the deals would be applied. Under these managed sales reports, you will be able to see a brief bifurcation of the cash revenue, online revenue, orders and the products which were uh, delivered at the most, categories, subcategories, how many uh, category sales were there, what sort of number we are looking at for the sales of a subcategory. So these kind of details will be visible under the managed sales report. Under the notifications, you can send a push notification to the end customers by saying that we are delivering so and so or we are offering you so much so discount on this day. So for an example, if I write here, discount 20% and the notification message would be flat 
percent off on Monday. So this would be the notification message and here would be the user list you can toggle for all the users and what would happen is once i click on send the notification the end user will receive a broadcast notification in their mobile devices and under the title you can see discount 20 percent the message and you can see between the users who all have been sent this particular notification to so under customer support you will be able to see the complaints or anything by by the means where the end customer is trying to reach the admin so at this point you can see what was the customer name image and the reason so that was the incorrect order and the description that my order is incorrect after that the admin can sort it out and if i go to the reasons you can see all the pending reasons and you can mark them accordingly under the CMS pages, you will be able to see our privacy policy and the terms and conditions, customer privacy policy, these all things the admin can enter manually and these links will be highlighted in your test. Uh, like if I type here test, so all of these text will be automatically shown to the mobile devices and the website and these links will be redirected to your own branded applications. So once I click on the settings, here we have the project details, what would be uh, the app name, admin URL, email address or any sort of thing. So here you have the website URLs. If you have a Facebook page, you can enter the pages link here directly. And on the website and the app as well, if the customer clicks on Facebook icon, they will be redirected to your Facebook page directly. Under the edit profile, it would be your admin's first name, last name and the emails. Here is change password. And in the billing section, you'll be able to see the billing information like plan, next billing date and the previous invoices. So under the project theme, if your whole company is uh, indulged towards red layout or the red theme is there for your whole company. So here from here, you can edit your theme and you can change the theme color and the look and feel of your admin dashboard website and the apps directly. So all of the things that are highlighted will be highlighted in red from now. As you can see, all the buttons and everything will be highlighted red. So once I go to these project images, here you can see that all the images here are dynamic. If I want to change the admins logo, customer apps logo, website logo, everything can be changed from here as well. And that would automatically be uh, shown into the customer facing applications and website. If you want to add or uh, remove any of the customer app introduction screens, customer contents, you can add it from here directly. So once we go to the merchant, here are the merchant documents. So we have the functionality where you can uh, add multiple documents for the merchant sign up. So if I want the photo of a passport for a particular merchant, I'll write here front only or front and back and I'll update it. So what would happen in that case is once we have uploaded, once the merchant is being onboarded or they are being signed up on your platform, they'll be required to upload the image of their passport. After that, the admin can approve and the merchant can successfully sign up. In the CEO settings, SEO settings, the search engine optimization in which we are fully integrated with the Google API keys. And in this, you just need to enter your Google site verification API key or the customer app key or the Play Store IDs and you are fully ready to market your own branded product. Under the customer settings, we have the option where you can choose between the sign up methods, whether it would be both or you want to uh, you want to provide the option for the end customer to sign up directly through the phone or the email. So you can update the settings from here. Here are the manage features. So we are integrated with multiple payment gateways, SMS gateways and third party gateways. So you, the hassle for integration of payment gateways is eliminated and you just need to toggle on. You need to enter the secret key or the public key which is provided by various uh, payment gateways and automatically that payment gateway will be implemented in the website and the apps. So setting aside all these admin settings, we have now the main hierarchy for adding our products. Now for adding the products, we first of all have the cuisine types. <coughs> we can set up the cuisine types that would be sweets or fast food or ice creams. So once I added the cuisine type, I can add their name. I can add their packaging charges, service charge and image. So the height brand is if that cuisine type is not a brand. So the brand will be covered in next modules. 
in this video so we have the toggle here for the brand management and from here i can add the brands and in the brands basically if you are uh, serving pizzas of domino's brand so you can just add a brand here you can block or unblock them and accordingly you can add the data so it would be no brand or anything i can write here domino's and i can assign different cuisine to a particular brand because the pizza type is served by domino's so i can assign this as a brand so here we have the categories these will be all the categories for the cuisine types like sweets ice creams fast food whether it would be ice cream or fast food the cuisine type which we have created earlier under the subcategories you will be able to see the chinese whether it's chinese restaurant sugar whether it's uh, anything uh, decora or anything like that so under the brand management i told you that you can add the brands like dominos and anything under the manage catalog you can add the catalog directly for the admin what would be the product name or anything like that under which merchant uh, that should be there so if for an example if i say chocolate ice cream so i'll select the merchant type to be ice cream i'll select the product category that should be a brick and the subcategory should be brick choose a brand and it's a no brand because we have not added any brand for ice creams so you can add the variant names accordingly if anything comes up and the description and the unit value and after that at the end you can add the images and your catalog is all set to go so from here you can manage your restaurants you can add the restaurants you can delete the restaurants these would be all the merchants that will be shown to your customer facing applications and these would be the basic details what would be the name store owner name description and merchant type will be there what sort of merchants they are catering add stores recommended or not recommended which will reflect onto the website and apps add option for veg or non veg and the hide brand status whether it is a brand or not in terms of delivery the merchant can set up their default delivery area or can select a geo fencing so in geo fencing what would happen is they can directly add their area in which they would be serving for an example i will be serving in this geo fence so i can mark these pointers here and automatically i will be shown to the customers in this geo fence and at the end they can add their images and through the bank details all the transactions in terms of commission and everything would be transferred directly if they are integrated with stripe so from here we have the store timings store open time close time what would be their status notification message before opening the store that would be reflected in the apps that this particular restaurant is being closed in so and so time you can hurry up or anything so you can enter these notification messages directly this was all for add restaurants so at the bottom we have the vehicle type so under the vehicle type what would happen is uh, if i add a particular vehicle type and i can assign it to a particular merchant and again that will be redirected to the driver panel so under the driver panel we have the drivers we have their orders and manage payments so under the drivers you'll be able to see all the pending drivers or the approved drivers which will approve under the order section you'll be able to see the previous orders that the driver has completed under manage payments you'll be able to see all of your drivers who have the pending payments or the wallet functionality which you need to pay to your end drivers this is our customer facing application on the top we have uh, the address option in which you can select various addresses or you can add your address as well then we have the deals option all the deals uh, that are applied onto the products you can apply the banner images and that will be shown here then we have the search option and then you will be able to view the cuisine types then your favorite mark stores and the recommended which the admin has marked them and then your favorite products now if i click on add i'll click on proceed to checkout then i can add the instructions and then if i have a promo code i can enter that as well now i'll select between my address and then i'll click on place order
now as you can see i have got the order on my admin dashboard now i'll click on accept and the booking will directly be sent to the driver application i'll enter the estimated preparation time that will be zero so on the driver app you can see that we have ex uh, now got the booking now i have accepted the booking i'll click on track your order on the customer app now so you can see the lifetime status update for the driver and in the driver app you'll be able to see the pickup and the destination and the order for the details now i'll click on go to pickup automatically the path will be drawn in the driver application i'll click on reach to store at this point of time i would be able to chat and call so i'll click on messages here so in the customer app you can see i have received a new notification so i can chat and likewise you can call and vice versa so i'll click on order pick and then reach to the destination now you can see i'll mark the order as complete and now i would be able to read the driver and in the admin panel as well you can see that automatically status updates are being handled now i'll read the driver i'll read the merchant i'll read the product i can write the various comments and i'll click on submit and automatically i will be able to go through the home screen and under the my orders you will be able to see the ongoing and your past orders under the notification if there would be any promo code or anything you will be able to see that then you have the loyalty points contact us and the logout and then the cms pages that will be support terms and conditions and so on under the driver application we have the profile section their total earnings and then the booking history how many bookings they have completed then their wallet what will be the balance and how many was deducted for a particular booking then notifications and contact us accordingly that was all about the food delivery platform zedmin panel as you can see it was extreme simple to use so if you can plan to launch your own grocery or food delivery platform i recommend that you click on the link in the description and assist us in getting this panel ready for your business you can also email to us at sales@aptunix.com or you can dm us on our social media accounts don't forget to like comment subscribe and press the notification bell to stay up to the date with our new videos thank you